just moments ago, a federal appeals court suspended gay marriage here in Michigan, at least until Wednesday. Still, county clerks across Michigan issued more than 300 licenses to same-sex couples. It's been four months now since Talika Patrick went missing, last seen at the Radisson Hotel in downtown Kalamazoo. Her car found here on the side of I-94 in Porter, Indiana. Then this morning, let us show you just yards away, the body of an African-American female found here. The former Secretary of State backing two Michigan lawmakers tonight. The Democratic hopefuls are now appealing to undecided voters. Everything starts at 6.30, so we still have about an hour and 15 minutes before the race itself, but all the fun has started. We're here at Inspiration Station. It's something new this year. You can see the girls right now before the race. They're writing each other messages of support. This is the end of the accident. You can see one semi colliding with another. We're told they were likely trying to stop. And then up ahead of us here, we can see at least a half a dozen other semis involved. We're seeing for the first time tonight just how quickly this crash happened. Buzz helping Marcy get ready to take the polar plunge. Both suspects being held tonight on a $1 million bond. Investigators were able to locate and interview McConnell in North Carolina yesterday. From that interview, they were able to gather enough information to bring them here, about 200 yards off a rural road. From new TVs to classic toys, there's something out there for everyone this shopping season. This 100-year-old oak tree here, one of many that fell in Monday night storms. You can see it crashed right into the bedroom of the RV. It's been an ongoing battle. Cars failing to stop at the stop sign, rather traveling through the yard of this home. The latest landing here on the steps, knocking out the family's water.